you. Uh, as summer begins here in just a few hours, the summer solstice begins at 941. That means summer is officially here in about five hours. That's when the sun's rays are directly over the Tropic of Cancer. So the Earth is tilted on its axis by 23 and a half degrees. And so now the sun's direct rays are going right over the Tropic of Cancer. And uh, that's because of the Earth's tilt. Like I just said, the northern and southern hemisphere, they're tilted Tw again, 23 and a half degrees. So the summers are different for the northern hemisphere and southern, southern hemisphere because of that reason. And so during the summer solstice, the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. It's the longest day of the year. And I know some of you are already saying it's not, the day is not longer. I understand the amount of daylight we see, 14 hours, 18 minutes and 44 seconds. Gradually after today, the days just get shorter until the winter solstice, which is December 21st. Felt like summer. It is summer. Practically 95 degrees was the high today. The normal is 92, not a record. The record's 104 set back in 1953. The low this morning and these lows are uh, killer because we just can't seem to get comfortable at any point in the day. You know, it's, it's OK early in the morning, but 79. It's a warm and muggy start to the day. It'll be that way all weekend long. No rain today for the month. We're a little bit behind and for the year still a little bit of ahead, a little bit ahead 20.33 inches. So. Uh, 94 degrees, the temperature now at DFW. Grass is moderate, oak is low, and fungus is also low on the pollen count. This is the, the, heat, the heat alert across uh, the U.S. We see the upper Midwest has heat advisories and extreme heat warnings from Minneapolis down to Omaha. This area will have heat indices up to 110 degrees this weekend. We go a little bit farther to the east from Ohio, parts of northeast Indiana, including beautiful Fort Wayne, Indiana, and then New York City. Philadelphia up to Boston. Highs will be close to 100 degrees in these areas. Record breaking heat is expected in New York City Monday and Tuesday. And heat index values up to 106, which for us, like I've said, that's kind of the normal thing for summer here in North Texas. But that sparks an extreme heat watch for those areas in New England and parts of the Northeast. We are dry. We are warm across the state of Texas. There's a couple sprinkles falling in Southeast Texas uh, off the sea breeze coming in. Uh, from near Galveston. So you see this as we go through tonight. That all dissipates. It's just a quiet night across the state. A little bit of cloud cover will start to spill back northward as we head into tomorrow morning. So you'll see a little bit of cloud cover early tomorrow morning. Sunshine all weekend long with highs in the mid 90s and heat index values around 100. So again, this weekend's going to feel just like the last few days. 77 tonight, warm and muggy, breezy at times tomorrow. 94. Today was 95. So we're kind of bouncing in the middle 90s over the next couple weeks. You'll see that in the 14 day forecast 101 for the heat index tomorrow. That's for DFW. Some of you a little bit higher 14 day forecast now includes the 4th of July at the very end. Right now there's no obvious signs of anything dramatic and I will tell you this time of the year it would be shocking if it number one weren't hot on the 4th of July and number two if there were significant rain chances maybe more than one day or two over the next 14 and right now we just have 10% thrown in there next Thursday. And then the following seven on the 14 day, we have one the following Sunday, Monday, and for the 4th of July, a real low chance for a pop-up shower or storm.